Where is the image when you have an object in a convex mirror? In a previous video, I gave rules for how to find it in concave mirrors, and we're going to use the exact same rules to predict where this image lies. First line that you draw, start out straight and bounce back through F. So, start your pencil tip, draw to the mirror, and then bounce back through F. Now, light can't actually go through a mirror, so I'm going to put a dotted line here to represent the light and where it would have bent if it was supposed to go through F. But obviously this is a mirror, so light bounces off of it. It actually ends up bouncing off like this. It's along a line that would go through F, but F is on the other side of the mirror. Light can't go through a mirror. So this line here goes through F, even though it doesn't actually go through F. Start through F and bounce back straight. So this light ray is headed straight towards F. Aw oh, man, I can't get through. That's a mirror. So I'm just going to bounce off straight. The reflected ray, or bounced ray as I've called it before, extends back this way. The last one, last line I want you to draw goes straight through C. So here we go. I'm going through C. I'm going through C. Ah. Oh didn't even work. I didn't get through. It's a mirror. I bounce off of it. But if I had continued, I would have had it this way, right along this dotted line. What you'll notice is that all three of these dashed lines, the light isn't actually traveling there, but these reflected rays travel along those lines. They meet right there. So the image lies right there. What you'll find for all objects in convex mirrors is that the images sit just behind the mirror and always much smaller. That's why we use convex mirrors, the ones that pop outward, to take a look at large scapes all at once. Like in a convenience store, you might see in the corner of a convenience store, they often have one of these convex mirrors so that all the different light from all the different places in the variety store or convenience store can be seen right there. It makes an image of the entire variety store in such a small area right behind the mirror. Anyways, point is use the same rules to predict where the image is in a convex mirror as you did for a concave mirror. Best of luck.